what are the odds AEW games, Jukes, THQ, what are the odds that they keep support going for AEW Fight Forever? As we all know, and I'm not going to sit here and repeat myself over the video, we've seen how unfinished this game was since it came out. There's a lot of stuff that went wrong. Patches didn't come out. The season passes were coming out, but it wasn't what exactly we wanted. So with that being said, AEW Fight Forever dropped an Ultimate Edition. And this Ultimate Edition includes the AEW Fight Forever Matt Hardy pack, the FTR Revival pack as well, the Fight Forever Limitless Bunny Bundle, Hulk Housen Very Handsome pack, Forever Dynamite with the Acclaimed, the Beat the Elite DLC, it brings the Tony Storm DLC, Swerve, the Forever Giant Swing, the Haters Gonna Game DLC, Fight Forever World War Joe DLC, and then you have the Adam Copeland and Jay White pack, and that's the Ultimate Edition, that is for $100. Now... Do you guys think that this is it? You know what I'm saying? This is the ultimate edition. Usually that ends up being the last edition, whether it be more support for this game. We have not gotten an official announcement from AEW Fight Forever, but I do want to go ahead and point out there is someone called Mike Strong Media. I've talked about him before on the channel, and he's pretty much very accurate when it comes to this. And he didn't really put out a, I would say, fact, but an assumption based on what he's heard before. Let me go on ahead and show y'all that. Mike Strauss says, I believe there will be at least two more seasons, but the set number moving forward, I don't know. So basically, he believes that there will be another season, maybe two, based on what he's heard in the communications he's had with the team in the past, but there is no set number. Right now, I'd be surprised if we get another season. I don't think we're going to get another season, but I've also been faked out in the past before where they do drop another season and I really wasn't expecting it. So personally, right now, I don't see another season. Why? Because it's like, what else more can you offer? Yes, you can offer Will Ospreay, Mercedes Monet. But if that comes without match types, different belts, different arenas to put the product up to date, then at this point, it's just a waste of time and just another way to fish into people's wallets. Could there be a contract there with AEW where they need to continue going till, you know, whatever set amount they put? We don't know that. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot that they have done that we didn't think they would do and then aew and then the dirt sheets would say hey you know these are this is just part of the contract this is just part of what we agreed on there was a report not too long ago that said that the game was highly unfinished and this came from mike strong media once again and they dropped the game unfinished knowing that they that it was unfinished and the reason why they did it was because they know that people were waiting they were desperate to get their hands on the game so they felt no choice they basically did this to themselves by showing off the game too early and i think that's what had them failed you showed this game way too early and then that's what was causing people asking hey where's the game what's going on hey you know what i'm saying and that's basically a problem with a lot of the indie games right now you have ultra pro wrestling you have the wrestling code those two games right there and more so the wrestling code than ultra pro wrestling because we've seen gameplay on ultra pro wrestling but on the wrestling code we've just seen mocap and just little videos here and there but no actual gameplay everything has just been mocapping or alpha footage and we still don't have nothing concrete in terms of footage so things like that is like all right man what is going on here because you know this game was severely unfinished and there was a rumor that community creations could have made the game but by the time that they committed on mini games and all that other stuff the budget basically shrank down to the point where they could not afford putting together a community creations anymore and we were left with what they've given us with that being said do you guys think that community creations could have saved aew fight forever personally i don't know if it would have saved it but i think it would have had a lot more longevity because i think that was one of the problems and creation suite that was a problem too so i guess it's a mixture of both if we had just a, a bit better creation suite plus community creations we'd be having a different story right now unless they let us upload logos and then that's a completely different story and you know at this point we're just speculating on what could have been with aew fight forever it's truly unfortunate that this is what's going on we're really wondering if there is going to be more support nothing has been addressed yet by thq or aew games i know in the discord nothing pretty much has been said about it i haven't really seen their community manager come out and speak on it so there's a lot that can change we don't know yet but i think the question on our minds is is aew fight forever done will we hear any more about this game till we get a second one we know that aew games 
wants to create a second AEW Fight Forever. It doesn't have to be by THQ, but more so the company, AEW. They said they want to, and they bought the game engine. So the ball is in their court and will always be in their court as they have the engine. Now we have to see, will there be another game developer who takes that engine and works on top of it? Because we know that there is a lot of development companies that do not like doing that and they like building their own stuff. So always working on top of another engine never works well. We saw it with WWE 2K20. When Jukes decided to leave, Visual Concepts said, all right, let's go on ahead and work on it. They tried to take that, did not work. They had to build their own engine from scratch. And here we are today with WWE 2K24. So there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong, can go good. We don't know yet, but I think this game is officially over and i think that they need to start gearing up towards an aew fight forever 2 release hopefully that does release within the next three to four years i don't want to see nothing before then because we know that nothing will be ready by then so just my two cents with that man let me know how you guys feel about this down below do you guys want an aew fight forever 2 do you guys want more dlc for aew fight forever let me know down below if you are still playing this game but most of all make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if you guys did enjoy this video i'm gonna catch y'all peace